Did someone say trick or treat? Well, I have a treat for you. We're going to be programming my latest invention, Tricky. He is a trick or treat machine. So pretty much when you press his nose, he will decide if you get a trick or a treat. Stay tuned and I will take you through the steps on how we code Tricky. First, let's understand what we're going to do. We want to write code that decides whether you get a treat or trick when you press a button. And guess what? We're going to use numbers to make that happen. You will get a trick if it is an odd number. So 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, all the way up until 100. And you'll get a treat if it's an even number, like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, all the way up until 100. We're going to be using Python to code Tricky, the trick-or-treat machine. To start, we need to tell the computer to pick a random number between 1 and 100. Now comes the fun part. We'll check if our secret number is even or odd. If it's even, you'll get a treat. If it's odd, you'll get a trick. But how can we tell if a number is even or odd? An even number means you can split things into pairs without anything being left over. So for example, if you have two pieces of candy, that's one pair, and you don't have any left over. But if you have three pieces of candy, two of those could be a pair, and you'll have one left over. You can do this with any number. Let's try it with number six. Number six, you can put three groups of twos together. And now let's try this with number five. With number five, you can have two pairs of twos and you'll have one left over. If it's a little confusing for you, it can be really helpful to use buttons, candy, pennies, anything, and practice sorting them into pairs and making sure you understand which ones have nothing left over and which one has one left over. This is super important because we're going to learn a cool programming concept to help us to do this in code. Now that you understand how a number can be even or odd, let me introduce you to Modulo. It's a super powerful math operation in programming that will tell you if there is anything left over or one left over. And this is what we're going to use to determine if a number is even or odd. Check out as I write the code. If something is even and we do modulo 2 and it equals 0, that means it's going to be even because there's nothing left, left over. Think of modulo as a way of saying, how many groups of 2 can we do? So any number modulo 2 will either give you 0 or 1, even or odd. For an odd number, if we do modulo 2, we will get 1. Remember the examples from earlier, if I have three pieces of candy, I can put two in a pair and I'll have one left over. Alrighty, let's test out our code. Drum roll, do, 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 do. yay, <laughs> you get a treat. I'm gonna keep testing this to make sure you also get a trick. Hey, <laughs> you got a trick. Awesome, it looks like our code is working. Thank you so much. I'm gonna get this code set up inside of Tricky and we can test it out. All right, let's run the code and see what happens. <laughs> Yay, I got a treat. <laughs> let's try again. Another treat, <laughs> I'm so lucky. Let's keep testing until I get a trick, just to make sure it's working. One more time. <laughs> I got a trick. <laughs> I'm glad it's working though. Thank you so much for helping me program Tricky. I hope you learned a little bit and I hope to see you on Halloween. Hopefully you'll get a treat. <laughs>